listening without effort and if there is truth in what you hear there is change and transformation and then truth becomes master there is hardly ever any truth in what you hear kunjan hardly any truth in what you hear because hearing is your own domain hearing is your own personal and private area how can the truth lie there you can hear only words right now as i am speaking the same words are coming to all of you do you really think everybody is in truth for one person these words can be very calming very soothing relaxing source of peace the other one may be agitated and panicking within and cringing hearing the same words both of them what is there in words truth is not in words truth is in your own quality truth is the quality of your own mind yes what can happen is that if the words that you hear are themselves emanating from the right center then it becomes more possible for you to surrender to them but even then what you hear is your own domain whether you have decided is your own discretion you see the buddha had said that the spoon in the soup the spoon in the soup lives all its life in the soup and yet it never tastes, tastes. tastes the soup because tasting is your your own domain the soup is all the time available but you are closed what can the soup do what can the soup do and look at the irony the soup will be brought to others by that same spoon that same spoon will bring the soup to others but itself it will never be able to taste the soup can there be a bigger misfortune you have to decide you have to give permission hmm one of the things about truth is it is not interested in anything it is not even interested in your enlightenment it will not force you it will say you take as much time as you want to i will come to you only when you are ready i will come to you only when you say that i am ready i'll stand at the door waiting patiently for an infinite time i will wait but i will come only when you open the door you have to open the door that is your domain your area otherwise even the most sublime words are of little use hmm and the more you open yourself the more you find that your need for words is reducing the more you open yourself the more you find that your need for words is reducing 
Why does a master speak? He speaks because you cannot hear his silence. So it's a compulsion that he must speak. Could you listen to him? Without his words, he would not want to speak because he is the first one to know that words do not matter much. But you need arguments, you need words, you need a particular structure. So you would speak. Do not think that there is truth in his speaking. There is truth in his presence. That much is all right, but not in the words. And that presence is not bodily, that presence is not sensually appreciable. You cannot say this body is that. Hmm? Your eyes cannot see him, your ears cannot hear him. And then The word that is used traditionally is satsang. You see, satsang does not mention speaking or words at all. It only says the right company. Being with the truth. Being immersed in the truth is satsang. Satsang. Sat is that which is, truth. Sat means that which is, the present, the truth. Being with that is enough. Satsang is not samvad. Satsang is not an exchange of words. Satsang is just being together. That particular quality of intimacy which does not require the use of senses. Hmm? The ones who can read, read from life itself. You're talking of the master. The life of the master is available if you could read it. His every movement is available. But because you refuse to read it, so he speaks. Otherwise it's there in everything, every breath, 